Coach, um, talk a little bit about what you've been able to see um, from this team during the first few weeks of workouts and how the team is progressing as they get ready to open practice on the 15th of October. Well, I, I think more than anything, you, you see them growing every week. And, and from week one to now, uh, guys' bodies are changing. Guys' toughness is changing. And, and, and how do you measure toughness changing is by watching guys fight harder to get through things. Uh, there's no give to watch guys pushing each other harder. And so I, I think it's a combination of things, but I, I think they're really growing. And, and as they get to know uh, each other better, they're learning to push each other farther. How have the guys responded to the level of competitiveness that Coach Green expects, especially each year as you bring in new guys and you have a different energy all the time? How has that gone so far? Well, I, I think there's a key point as you bring in new guys. And, and I think when people look at our new guys we brought in, they brought a competitiveness with them. They brought uh, why they came here to win. And, and so they've added that. And, and, and the whole culture of, of the sense of urgency and, and how to get better every day, you know, having only been here four months, I've seen it change a bunch in only four months. Um, you, you get the opportunity now, and the kids get the opportunity to really to, to hone their craft in a wonderful facility like Cook Hall. But, but talk about the impact that a facility like this can have on a program and, and, and what it can mean for the future of Indiana basketball. Well, I, I think more than anything, you give a chance to a kid to come in and, and there's no excuses. Uh, you've got one of the best facilities in the country to train to be a better player. And, and you have 24-hour access. And we keep saying that, but it's a big thing. And, and, and we've seen our guys really use it. Uh, you, it doesn't matter if you have it, if you don't use it. And I, I think one thing our guys are doing is, is taking advantage of it. But a, as I know our fans have seen, you know, I still think, though, when you, you see highlights of our guys over in the football stadium carrying each other up and down and, and running those stadiums, the combination of everything you do makes this a world-class facility for a, for a young player to come in and get better. Um, is there anyone, you know, obviously you had an opportunity during the summer to watch a lot of film on the team from the previous year and even the year before that. But is there anyone that has stood out to you in terms of seeing a level of improvement that you think fans will be very excited about as, as we prepare for this upcoming season? Well, and, and I think you always have to be careful there because I, I think what fans would get excited about is I've seen a level of improvement out of a lot of guys. And, and to specify one, I'm not sure I would, but I, I think I've seen, again, guys just change. And, and I think that's what our fans will be excited about as we head into Hoosier Hysteria and, and the opportunities to see our guys. You're going to see different bodies, different, uh, just a different feel to what they look like and, and, and hopefully see a great change in their toughness level, even, even in something like Hoosier Hysteria. With you and Tim Buckley having both uh, served as head coaches before, how much do you think that is a benefit to someone like Coach Crean um, as you go through a lot of different things as you're trying to rebuild this program? Well, I, I think whenever you've sat in that seat, and, and, and neither Tim or I have ever sat in a seat like this one, but you, you, when you've been in that position, you're able to – give solid feedback uh, you're not guessing uh, you know you know you have an opinion whether it's right or wrong is still a, a factor but I, I think you have a security to give information to the head coach that you know you've sat in that seat and it's something that he wants to hear and so uh, there's no question I think it's it's a positive for coach how's the adjustment been for you and your family to Bloomington and how much are you looking forward to this upcoming season well, it's been a great adjustment, and, and people have been so outgoing and, and, and trying to make the adjustment great for myself, for my wife, for my son, and 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 you're starting to feel like Bloomington is home. And, and you know, I'm probably as excited as our fans. I, I haven't been here for a Hoosier hysteria. I, you know, I haven't been here for a real game yet. And so I have a real anticipation heading into this uh, next couple of weeks. Okay, thank you, Coach. Thank you.